Good afternoon, welcome back to 120s. Today we are talking about dry plate tin types. Uh, this is not an area that I really thought I'd be uh, delving into anytime soon. I was kind of interested in glass plates, I started dipping my toe into that. Um, I've never really been interested in the whole wet plate collodion thing. I quite like the, the, the concept and I like what it looks like, but um, whatever interest I have is, is not enough to tip me over the edge of starting to go down that rabbit hole, and that is a rabbit hole. However, whilst looking for some glass plates, I went over to the website of Nedge, uh, I think his name is, uh, who runs Zebra Dry Plates. Uh, also has a, a YouTube channel called Lost Light Art. You should go and check that out if you haven't already. Loads of stuff about this kind of thing on there. Um, Went there looking for glass plates and saw that he had started selling these. Zebra dry plate tin types. So I'm not 100% on the, the, the chemistry, but what Nedge has done is um, put a standard emulsion, a standard light sensitive emulsion, exactly as you would find on glass plates, onto aluminium plates, aluminum plates, uh, and then come up with a developing method that essentially makes your your negatives develop positive. Uh, I think that's roughly it, because obviously uh, once, if you were to develop a negative onto that alum aluminum plate, um, then you can't shine a light through it and print and, and uh, have it come out, come, the, come out the right way around. So what Nedge needed to do was come up with a process or, or rediscover a, an old process that would allow a negative to develop as a positive. And he has done that by using a chemical called ammonium thiocyanate. Uh, so that doesn't come with it. So you buy your dry tin types. Um, he recommends you uh, develop in HC110, Kodak HC110, and then add some of this ammonium thiocyanate to the mix, which will then cause white deposits to form where your uh, black areas of negative would be, thereby giving you a positive. I think that's the theory, although do head over to Nedge's channel uh, and his website to learn more about that because I'm not here to try and explain it to you. I'm just here to give it a go and see how it looks. So I ordered the dry plate tin types from Nedge, um, then read all the, the, the bump about them, realized that I was gonna need this ammonium thiocyanate, went looking for it in the UK, realized that in the UK, restrictions on ammonium thiocyanate mean that they won't deliver it to a private address. So unless you work for a school or a college or, or somebody like that that has some reason to be ordering chemicals, they basically won't sell it to you. Uh, James Lane from Zone Imaging recommended a couple of places that I could perhaps order from Europe. So I did that, I went ahead, tried a couple of those, um, managed to place an order with a place in Germany. Whilst that order, I was waiting to see if that order was gonna arrive, Nedj actually started selling ammonium thiocyanate on his own website. So I ordered some from there as well. So now I've got ammonium thiocyanate from two places and I've got the zebra dry plates and I'm ready to give them a go. Now, uh, full disclosure, um, I'm not going to say that he sent these to me for free. He didn't. I paid for them. Um, so I'm under no obligation to say anything good. I was, what I was going to say was that I've already tried a couple. And I've done a couple of tests with the kids and um, screwed them all up. So that was interesting. But I do think that I know what I did wrong. Um, so it, essentially, I, did, I, I exposed these, these dry plates according to all the instructions of, of how to expose them. I then took them into the darkroom and went through the processing uh, and they both came out in, on two separate occasions completely fogged. And the conclusion that I've come to is that my safe light is not actually a safe light. Uh, and it's not a safe light, it's just a light that's red. But it seems to work fine for my printing. But these dry plate tin types seem to be a little bit more sensitive. Uh, and they, like when I was developing a little bit by inspection, they totally fogged. So I have done some testing, but I haven't had a successful test yet. So we're going into this a little bit blind. But these things come in a pack of 10, they are not cheap. I don't really want to do any more testing. I feel like I've, I know what I did wrong. So uh, let's just get out there and shoot some stuff and see how we get on. So we're going to take the Stenopeka, um, I'm going to take my uh, Emil Bush A-Planat lens, which you saw on the channel a couple of videos back. 
Um, I'm going to meet up with a friend of mine called Marsha, um, and we are going to take some portraits on zebra dry plate tin types. And uh, let's see how badly I screw them up. Could be pretty bad. Let's see. So we're down here at Winterbourne Duck Ponds uh, with the wonderful Marsha. Uh, Marsha has agreed to sit very still for me whilst I expose some of these dry tin type plates. Uh, the sun seems to be dipping in and out. The forecast is, in fact, no, I'll check the forecast just now, it's going to rain apparently yeah, within like 70% rain. So we're going to get it. this get this done as quick as we can. Yep. Um, I've only got five attempts at this and full disclosure, Marsha, um, I haven't actually had a successful test of this yet. So I've I'll tried, you, well, you will be the first. I'm be hoping first. that I've, I've got a pretty good idea of what went wrong, okay. um, but I've tested this three times on my kids and uh, haven't managed to get one to come out yet. So, okay, I would actually quite like you. There's somebody feeding the ducks over there, but I, I thought that a nice place would be just, you see that little rock there? Yeah. You're quite, you just, no, it's not, I'm not worried about you, I'm worried about you getting coat dirty. Um, I wonder if I've got something you could sit, oh I have actually, you could sit on this, fine. That's all right. I'll take the, um, I've got my dark bag that I keep my uh, dry plates in okay. um, and I'll take them out and you can sit on the bag just so you don't get your coat dirty because it's uh, very nice. So uh, let's do that, let's get set up down there. Okay, so here's the setup. This is where we've got Marsha sitting and I'm going to take in the scenery exactly. So we're going to probably frame somewhere like that um, and get Marsha to look at me. She's not quite in the sun. So this could be a slightly longer, um, this may take like a couple of seconds, if that's all right. Let's just see what the light meter is saying, excuse me. Okay. All the gear, all the gear, no idea. So that's saying two seconds on there. All oh, right, we're in good shape, this is lovely. Okay, let's come down a little bit. So, Marsha, how ready are you? to literally keep as still as possible. I'm ready. You are ready? Yeah. Good. I will shout when we start and I will shout when we stop. Okay. okay, so let's just make sure that is nice and secure. Lens cap is on, dark slide is coming out. So the, um, oh, that dark slide is stiff. Okay, uh, ready? Yeah. So as still as possible, looking straight down the lens. Three, two, one. Great, we're done. At ease, that's one. Now, it'd be an interesting question. Oh my goodness, what is happening with this? Oh my, oh, okay. Okay, so that hasn't worked. That has actually fallen out. <laughs> we'll have another go, we'll, that's all right. Yeah, this is why we've got five with us. That feels nice and secure. The lens cap is on. Let me take this out with two hands this time. Right, let's try again. Ready, ready, has that light changed? It has actually changed a bit. I'm gonna give it slightly longer, you ready? Yep. Smiling this time, are you gonna, yeah? Try. Okay, here we go, three, two, one. And stop. Right then, so that was a bit of a disaster, that first one. Um, I don't know what happened. I must have not loaded the plate properly, but there it is. There's your plate with emulsion. And that's handy actually, because I can now use that for testing and making sure that I know how I'm loading my plates in the future. Um, I hadn't destroyed one for the purposes of testing, but now I have. So there we go. Let's do another one. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna come a bit closer. We'll keep, we'll keep in the same place, but I'm just gonna come closer. I'm gonna turn sideways. Um, so landscape orientation rather than portrait orientation. So if you just wanna hold still for a min, there we go, that's where we want it. Um, are you able to sh shuffle your... Hey, so I want your shoulders a bit more square to me. There, how's that, is that comfy? Great. Right, so one of those, and one of those. That side is the one we've already done. So let's go into this side. Out comes the dark slide. Okay, ready? Looking straight down the lens. Three, two, one. Yeah, yeah, but let's, um, I know, let's, let's, let's give you some, some big wide background behind you. So let's go and stand over there, please. 
Uh, and I'm going to keep this quite low. Right then. So this is our frame, something about here. I'm actually slightly further over. So hopefully that'll look nice. Okay, out comes the dark slide. And we're gonna give this two and a half, ready? One, two, and a bit. Let's do a super close up. So you know you were quite, you were a bit further away. Yep. So come back closer again, please. So the final shot we're gonna do, the fifth and final plate uh, is a super close head and shoulders of Marsha, just there. And then, that's it. And then I'll go back and try and develop these and not screw them up as I've screwed them up in the past. And we're gonna go with two seconds here. So, and we're gonna just have a smile. Go on, ready, and go. One. Two, close it off again, good. Right then, that is the end of my um, plates. You can, you can relax now, you can turn and move and move your feet and yeah, exactly. So that's the end of the plates. Um, we've got four shot, one screwed up. Um, so I'm gonna take them out now and develop them and hopefully uh, there will be something there, but I apologise right now if I've screwed them all up and there's nothing. Um, I'll take some photos on my iPhone now if you like, just to make it worth something. Uh, but thank you very much, Marsh. You've been very patient, really appreciate it. And uh, fingers crossed we'll get some nice shots out of it. Thank you very much. You're more than welcome. So there we go. That was interesting. I did screw them up as planned, as promised. I would, uh, I would hate for you to uh, come to my channel and find a video where I didn't screw something up. That would be very disappointing for you. Um, I did screw them up. Um, but there's some interesting results and some, they're kind of fascinating to work with and I'm glad I went there and I'm glad I did it and I will probably try it again. Um, what is really interesting to note, so I think this one is the best one uh, and you did, you have seen this before, but I don't know if this is what they're supposed to look like. They look great as I showed you in the video. I did that with like lights on it, um, almost using a basically a copy stand um, to, to photograph this. But if you don't like, you need to try quite hard to see them. Now, I've never done wet plate collodion, nor have I been in the room with someone who's doing wet plate collodion, but do they look that kind of dull? I don't know, I think I was expecting more, but then maybe that's it, maybe that's what they look like, you know? Um, they, and they look good under lights when you, when you, you know, expose them properly and all the rest of it, then you can, you can make them look pretty good. And that the images that are on there that you can see with your eye are quite good. I don't know. I think I expected them to just be more impressive as a as a thing to hold in your hand. But maybe that's because I didn't get the exposures right. And I definitely didn't. What's really interesting um, is this area up at the top of the screen here. Um, where I've photographed uh, Marsha with the, the, the light behind her a little bit. And there obviously the, the, there is no latitude within this emulsion. There is really is no space for um, overexposing. And that sky has just blown right out and come out a very different color, which is interesting. So that's something to note for future outings. That's, I mean, they are interesting to hold in your hand. You know, I can't, this is the thing is like, I put it, if I, if I put it on a kind of a, a copy stand and put, put some proper lights on it, then you can really see it. But as soon as I tr start to try and just show you, you know, here on the screen, they're very hard to see. And they're certainly not, if you hand it to someone, they're not really impressive. I don't know, I could clearly do better. Having been out and tried it and made the mistakes and, and realised what works for this process and what doesn't. Um, I'm, I am keen to go, and I've got ammonium thiocyanate coming out of my ears now because all the, all the deliveries arrived. Very interesting though, and I'll be very interested to know how they compare with uh, wet plate, proper wet plate um, exposures. Uh, so I may try and find someone who does that kind of stuff and see what they say about them. Uh, good job to Nedge though, what a legend. He is continuing to innovate and try new things in, in all sorts of um, archaic processes. Um, and thank God we still have people like that around. I actually also have some of his dry plates, his glass plates, um, and I will be using those in uh, videos coming up very shortly. 
So watch out for those. Uh, loads of other stuff, the Koa 6. So last two videos I've said, coming up soon, Kawa 6. On the last video, I got a message from a wonderful viewer who said, FYI, save yourself a bit of embarrassment here, it's actually Koa 6. So the Koa 6 uh, will be coming out uh, for the next video. Um, so look forward to that. Uh, that's kind of it for today. This was, uh, you know, just a test. Um, if you are not currently subscribed, please do like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. I will leave you as I talk my way out of this video with a last look at the results of some of those uh, shots that we took on the tin type plates, the dry tin types. Big thank you, obviously, to Marsha. She was an absolute superstar. And that's it. See you for the next one. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.